What's up guys, it's Perbeck here, and we are back to some Don't Starve Together. So, I've been testing out some different uh, mod configurations, trying to figure out what our issue has been um, with this mod confliction disconnect. I think I've mentioned it in a couple different, um, a couple different uh, videos, mostly the um, Slay the Spire ones, because Don't Starve has it came out. Um, so we're going to go back in here and get these settings the way um, we want them. Uh, I don't count the last one as a loss because we didn't really um, get to play. It just kind of ended. So I'm going to go back in with the settings we did for number two. We did more beefalo and we did more wobsters. I think that's the only thing we're going to change. Um, so for the mod, what I went in with last time, um, I turned off large chests. Rope bridges, and then I left the client mods the same besides taking off snappable um, tilling. I don't know which one is causing the issue, but uh, I played a few days with this setup, so that's going to be the setup we're going to try. Hopefully it works out and we can get into it. Um, I'm excited to see some of the, I know there's some, been some updates with some new characters. Um, Weber is particularly like exciting for me because um, I've not played him. I also played a little bit of Willow, um, which I hadn't played her since her update, and they, the changes they made are interesting. So I want to... Um, I'd be interested in playing her some and seeing what we can do. But I'm excited. I've been wanting to play for a few days. So, you know, over this... I am actually have a long weekend. It's actually Monday, no work today. So pretty exciting to get in and get some extra recording done. It's actually supposed to come out in like an hour and a half. Um, but I had the t chance to actually like fiddle with some stuff. Yesterday I took like a relaxed day, um, played some different games. Uh, let's get the random up here, go in here. And, uh, oh, we're playing a good old Wilson, um, very standard. Um, but I got to play some other games yesterday just to relax. I played some Overwatch, which was a lot of fun. Still terrible at it. Um, but it was nice. And I also played Apex, which is going to be what I was going to talk about. Apparently, because I don't follow a ton of, like, gaming Twitters. or like, And that's how I feel like a lot of people, um, a lot of companies update stuff and, like, tell, like, what's going on with them. But I was playing Apex for a while. Played a couple rounds. Was trying to get, like, uh, reused to it. They have, like, Arena now, which is... Um, like a CSGO feeling type thing where you buy uh, the weapons at the beginning and such. Um, but then I got kicked and locked out. Um, and apparently, from what I, I read, maybe it was Game Informer. Uh, some, I was trying to search it and like look into it. But apparently someone has hacked Apex. Or I, don't, I guess it's a group. Um, to try to petition EA to fix Titanfall. Because it's like... You get in, and it won't let you queue up a new game. Um, and it says, go to savetitanfall.org. And I think it, they, if you say yes, that you'll go, they give you free, like, Apex currency. Um, I don't know if that was just because I had leveled up, or if they gave it to me. Like, that hackers, I guess, or however it goes. Um, it was definitely weird. You can get back into the games by just, like, re-logging a couple times. Which does make it frustrating to play because you know i'm trying to play the games um but it was definitely an interesting thing to like be a part of and to see because you know you don't usually hear about it and they're you know uh respawn and ea is a big company um and to have like such a problem um and it wasn't like very publicized like i couldn't like find a fix for it um so i guess either i had just gotten into the beginning of it um, or they just hadn't put in the, um, effort to, like, get it fixed. Or, lower the time. I don't know how long it had been really going on, so. But apparently Titanfall's been having issues for a while. I've not actually ever really played Titanfall. Um, I know of Titanfall, but it's not been the game I have, uh, participated in. Um, yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. I'd love to know your guys' uh, feedback on that. But we're going to go in here. I don't know exactly what the plan is, besides surviving. The plan is, um, i seen that there's a bunch of Wobsters up there, which I would, I know we turned on more Wobsters, so I'd love to possibly use that as a food source, but the terrain's not 
the most interesting. So I was kind of wanting to look around a bit more. Another um, Goose Moose spawn. I think that's where they spawn. I, I say that not being an expert here. Um, but I would like a little bit more interesting of a terrain. I'm trying to pick up rocks and stuff as I go. Uh, I feel like I run out of rocks the fastest in the early game. Because a lot of them are needed for crafting. And they're not as readily available as some of the other materials. I'd like to grab these as I come about them here. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, I know we just had the fourth, so hopefully you, know, you blew up some stuff and shot off some fireworks if that's your jam. If not, uh, hopefully you just had a good, relaxing weekend. Okay, um, rabbits, ocean. This is probably going to dead end right up here. Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to go to the very end. I don't think there'll be much, and here's the edge here. I've been trying to be more <clears throat> like... Um, active about exploring the map edges because I feel like that information is the most valuable when you're trying to explore and trying to get it like knocked out early is pretty good that way you can find before you set up a base you can find out kind of where you want to be um, and you don't like miss important uh, useful resources pond pond I feel like every time I record I find Pondsville which this could be a good Food source if we sit up nearby, if there's like a POI up here or something. I've been watching someone who says POI a lot in their videos. Um, and it's a great, just like, easy descriptor. Also, bees over here. Yeah, bee field. Angry hive. Wasp queen. That's marble. Pickaxe. I don't really need this right now. But um, it's a very good descriptor, in my opinion. Is this where the road ended here? Continue off. Um, because he plays seven days, which I was thinking about doing another video. I have a couple other games I'm thinking on um, testing out since I don't think I can do like I do with Slay the Spire and just keep adding mods to ooh Glamour statue very and Pig King. It's actually a cool little area here. You got the Glamour, you got the Pig King, you have the bees and the frogs down south. Might be where I set up. I don't usually like setting up in the birch forest. Only because I feel like out of the tree guardians, the birch one is more frustrating and more annoying. But I think with the food stores down, the frogs and the protection from the pigs, I could be convinced. I could easily, and this looks like it goes up for a while. Let's explore a little bit around this pig king here. It looks like a grass, um, a grass structure, which is nice because I feel like grass is pretty annoying. Because you have to fertilize it all, so having this be set up like right here would be nice. How many pigs are here? Oh, there's some grassland. Okay, it's just the king. There's no other actual pigs, which is disappointing to say the least. That a requires more science, um, but I'm still not put off by it. Let's see how much stones out here. So we could do it if we, yeah. Hmm. Looks like a tundra here. Possibly some hounds. Uh, there's no protection. It's the only downside. So we'd have to build in our own pigs for the pig king. But I'm kind of, I'm still kind of digging it. Maybe setting up right here in between. Uh, kind of near the, the wasp queen or the bee queen. And right here next to this glomer statue. Because getting glomer early would be nice too. Let's go a little bit this way. Oh, we don't have any wood. A craft fire and craft a torch. Let's go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do is we'll do an early forest fire here to get the stuff to do this. Go ahead. We're gonna burn a bunch of these saplings, but I'm kind of still okay with this. Um, let's actually collect them. I think somewhere right here is where I'm going to going to set up. Um, let's go ahead. Did I make an axe? I did. Go ahead. And, I'm trying to also be more. With this game, one of the bad things I am is I stand around at night. I don't utilize my night times, which are actually a very good, like, time of day. They give a lot of, like, time to farm. Um, so doing that early is great. So I think we're going to set up here. I'm going to early commit. Um, I think there's just a lot of useful things around. And if we can get, you know, a lot of grass, we can set up a bunch of traps by those frogs. Um, with that grass um, little display piece and then we can um, 
go ahead and get some frog legs drying. Uh, Wilson does a, is like pretty well rounded, so there's not a lot we'll need um, overall. Um, finding some spiders and silk is going to be important. Um, but there we go, day two. We're going to do, I think, two days still for per recording, um, but I'm happy to see it. And I do like the idea of having bees nearby to, I don't know what they drop. I know like most of the mobs right now passively drop things. Um, so I'm curious what they will drop. If it's going to be honey, if it's um, stingers, that also could be very good. Set up like a defensive position with bee mines. We'll have to wait and see. Also, stone valley up here. Very nice. Um, we have plenty of wood. I think the only thing we're kind of lacking is we're going to have to... Mine for some twigs, which isn't the worst. Twigs are probably the easiest of the resources to relocate, um, just because you don't have to fertilize them. And yeah, I think we'll do that. I need to go also harvest that grass today and go ahead and set up all those um, traps. Because if we don't set up the don't harvest the grass, we're not going to benefit the most from it um, regrowing. Also, some more stone. Yeah, it's just a stony north, which is kind of nice. Yeah, no dragonfly or anything. Looks like there'll be some ice up here eventually. Good. Anything else of note? Not quite. I don't remember exactly what each biome could hold. Like, I think you might find some tall birds up there, maybe. Um, but as we explore, I need to go also make a shovel. So let's go ahead and create a science machine now that we have the goal to do so. Um, also probably doing a... Because we built pretty close... Right here, doing like a bridge where we can go up and across might be better. Uh, let's go ahead and make this science machine. Do it right here. I'm kind of wanting to use, this is like a good like four point kind of intersection for a bunch of stuff. Uh, shovel, definitely. And then I want to make a backpack actually. Backpack. Because we're going to need it if we're going to carry a bunch of traps. Um, we're going to need sticks for those two. I don't really have a lot of charcoal here. Not a ton of it, but... I think it's two or three per. I want to go drying racks early over crock pot. Um, oh, actually, we have a bunch more down here. Just to utilize the frogs. I know you're hungry. We will feed you soon. Uh, ten's not bad to start off with. A little bit more, eleven. Okay, let's go harvest this grass and let's get these going. This fr these frogs will be a absolute nuisance if we don't start harvesting them early, I feel. We also need more wood. We need for Um, yeah, tw two twigs. We can do four to start with. Maybe a little bit more. Um, and I don't remember how to get glomer. I know you have to do something on a full moon. Actually, I think you need the glomer flower at the glomer statue. I think it's worth it. I need. I'll have to look it up. But alas, we're we're doing fine. We're also gonna need all this grass for. Um, making the drying racks. Each one of these takes three rope, some twigs, which, again, we don't have a lot of. Uh, actually, I should. Not torch. Uh, shovel. As I walk around here, let's go ahead and make some of these. Let's go down. To oh, wait. There is a pig. One. All right. Frogs for days. Go ahead and craft, like, four of these. These take a little bit more work, per se, than usually you'd kind of want to put in for harvesting. Oh, got it with me. Um, because you have to, like, go and reset these traps. Let's go back over to these frogs and see if they'll fight. Yeah, they will. But I'm kind of okay with that. Man, they're all, they're all over this area. Yeah, and I want to set these up at night. I have made the mistake, so... Um, let's go ahead and actually collect these berry bushes. I don't think it's like 100% necessary, but I kind of like the idea of clearing out this area to set up the traps the easiest. Okay, but this isn't quite the area that we want to set them up in. But always can use berry bushes, so. And I guess we'll put two per pond, maybe. One on each side. There's probably a better, like guide to how many traps because i don't know how many like frogs spawn from each pond any of that let's go ahead and eat too it's a little bit of a waste but 
Um, there's probably like an algorithm or a formula for that, but I'm not too bad to just do it. We do gotta go away, so it's good to have that one right up there. I spawned a pretty good amount of frogs. But yeah, down here, where we actually want to set up like the majority of the traps. Let's actually make a couple more. I need more grass already. They take six per, so yeah, we're gonna have to have to uh, just do it the best we can. And there we go. Those two, early start there. We'll grab the twigs as we go. Um, that way we can go ahead and start. Well, we don't have anything to dry yet, so it's not 100% necessary. I'm actually gonna leave the grass tufts available. Um, that way, as we walk around, we don't have to harvest them. There's probably 20 right there by the pig king. Um, so it's not too necessary. Um, grabbing some of this bee honey could be very good. But I only see there's only like one, one actual hive. And then the killer hive maybe. There might be some more over this way. I'll avoid these guys if possible. Uh, and we got five. Grab a couple more berry bushes here. Be a good dinner tonight. Make a, uh, I don't know if we have enough to make a crock pot. I don't know, but... Actually, we're gonna let's go ahead and grab some wood too. See if we can piss up the birch guardians already. If we had more pigs, I'd be like more prone to making these angry and then letting these fight or running the pigs down to the frogs and fighting. But we do not have that yet. But it'll be pretty easy if we can get one pig house to um, go ahead and uh, utilize that. I'm gonna also remove these stumps. Just because I'm not going to need these here. Yeah, so it makes it look much cleaner. Um, and we got a mound here, which is nice. Not too close by, but close enough where we can utilize it. But not have to deal with the back, maybe. Ooh, it's about to get dark. Cutting it close. Okay. Walk back. Our house is, like, right here somewhere. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm too far north. Be right here. Hello, fire. Fire pit. Am I just dumb? Actually, maybe I was more this way. I mean, our torch is doing fine. Oh, no, I was right. It's down. It's like a little farther south. I can't see the tiny minimap. My eyes are very not good. All right. Dude. Where, where are you? There you are. <laughs> not not really wanting to play that game anymore. Um, one of these. Build that up. Go ahead. Um, I guess I'll set these right here. I don't think that fire is going to make it over here. Kind of create like a little food area. Again, I, I mostly want to use the frogs. That's going to be the, the real play here. I did pick up a grass tuff, which I did not mean to. Maybe I'll set this up here. We'll fertilize it once we get the chance, but we don't really need to yet. But that's going to do it for the first episode, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. Hopefully, you're excited to see Don't Start Come Back. If you do, please hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.